life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal. Told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them. Get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay. I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. <laughs> Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> got to do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh, ah, uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced, intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear Uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? Well, he told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. They'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez. Make sure your shit's squared away.
I'm trying to, you know, stay alive. Oh, fuck, fuck! Snakes! You gonna let an itty bitty... Take him down! killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm gonna put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You... You are the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying. I just spoke to him. He said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never going to let you out of this city. He's going to use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's going to kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. You want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you. Yeah. If you want to live through this, stick close to me. You understand? As I walk along, I... New vehicle here in the bayou. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out here. Uh, One car is promised. Appreciate it.
was the last of them. I think. Yeah, well, keep an eye out anyway. You could have killed me. Put a bullet in my head and still fuck my gun. You got a question in there somewhere? Yeah. Why didn't you? Just didn't sit right. Look, you didn't do anything to me. As far as I can tell, you're just another person in the long line of folks Marcano's fucked over. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Lankin. What's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Salman Khan. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hey, tell that person. This who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm... All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear the city apart looking for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this. out of the city. Good. He told me you saved his life. All I did was get him away from Marcano's men. And thank God for that. Let me ask you something. You ever hear how Sal Marcano wound up running this city? Him and his brothers killed a few guys and took over. He sold out his own father, Lincoln. Watched him die. And then he killed every man standing in his way. Butchered them. 
them and anyone else he thought was a risk, warranted or not. How do you know that? Other oh, priests. The sanctity of the confessional isn't always absolute. I'm not an idiot, Lincoln. You're a criminal. Sammy was a criminal. I accepted that a long time ago. But there's a difference between being a criminal and being a Sal Marcano. I'm not Sal Marcano. Easy to say that now, but what about when this is over, when there's no one standing in your way? I haven't decided yet. You're a good man, Lincoln. I know it's odd to hear that, considering everything you've done. But it's true. You have it in you. I've seen it. But you're gonna have to decide, have to choose, whether you let all of this consume you, pervert you, turn you into the very thing you hate. Best part of getting older? Don't need quite so much sleep. <laughs> the worst part, every damn little thing hurts. You live long enough, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I got a line on Tommy. Step inside and we can talk. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. <sighs> Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay! I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah. Sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. 
Alfie's a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. Huh? <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcy? Hmm. I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? <sighs> Lead the way. size up the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time it. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. 